Hi YouTube, Brian here. Uh, back onto our little Pleurothallis stricta here. This plant has been growing a lot of kikis off the leaves. Um, these are great little plantlets. They root up nicely. Before you even take them off the plant, they've got a nice little root system going. They've often even flowered. I'll take the old flower stem off there. Um, these are a great way to propagate some of these Pleurothallids and a great way to be able to share them around, have something for the plant sales table at your local orchid society meeting, things like that. So what I'm gonna do is just sort of harvest these little babies to give the, the mother plant a little bit more room to breathe here. And I don't find myself that it's worth potting them up individually right away. I like to leave them for a little bit together in a community pot just to get established, and then I'll separate them out and pot them when they're about ready to go into a maybe a two inch pot. I've got a few little plants here. This will allow better airflow through the parent plant. As I was getting this plant ready earlier for a repotting, I, uh, as I picked it up, some of these even started falling off all on their own. So I think it's about time to get some of these moving on to their own little pots. Here we go. So I'll set the parent plant aside. What I like to do is just take a pot, fill it mostly with mix, and tuck a little row of plants in, put some mix lightly around their roots, create a little wall along here so that I can put the next little row of plants in. Again, a little more mix, just to hold them loosely. Take off any little dead sticks and things. And so this, this lets me put somewhere between nine and a dozen plants into a pot so I can care for them all as one, not have to worry as much about a bunch of tiny little pots. Um, in this instance, though I don't normally take flowers off of Pleurothallids when they're growing well, um, I'll take the flower stem off of this tiny little baby because I've given it a bit of a setback having to feed itself on its own. Tuck a couple more in there. Last little bit of mix just tucked on top. Make sure to tuck a label in the side of the pot just so you remember who they are. And with how quickly these grow, I bet that within just a few months, I'll be able to pop these up into their own pots and they'll do very, very nicely and I'll be able to share. Thanks, YouTube.